stop your self-improvement and this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time and um, what I've noticed and when I contact people when, when people contact me who have ME CFS is that they are like completely always putting their time and energy into uh, self-improvement and I don't really believe in self-improvement what it means is when you want to improve yourself is that you're not good enough and what does that mean why is that and and now we're going into a very psychological uh, area what it means for me is that is actually the message you're telling yourself by self-improvement so it's enhancing it um, also, uh, when you don't know your boundaries, because your emotions go straight into your unconscious, which give you initial symptoms, um, the message that you're giving yourself by denying the emotions, which goes unconsciously, is that they are not good enough, the emotions. And by the emotions, is a part of you. I mean, it's probably one of the most honest uh, communications of your true self to yourself emotions are boundaries uh, there is no such thing as a negative emotion uh, so if you're experiencing anger you want to have self-improvement self-improvement usually means burying the emotions which is so you don't know like you don't know that they are there anymore which give gives symptoms it's as easy as that like to look into Darno, dr sarno's tms Check out uh, the self-study on my website. You can download free books from him as well with like lots of healing tips. And it's the complete unawareness of who you are and changing yourself. But then there's also like self-help books to reverse that, like to go looking at yourself. Like, who am I? What do I want? Where are my boundaries? How do I feel my emotions? And that is not self-improvement. That is actually a step back. Instead of going further away from yourself, you go one step back to yourself, which is also meditation. Like, who am I? What are my feelings? What do I really want? Um, so many people who contact me, they're like all the time busy with self-improvement. How can I be better? How can I be better? But what if your body actually says no? to your uh, habit of probably stressful thinking and uh, self-improvement. So every time you're going to self-improve, your body is going to create symptoms. Yeah, so better just to change it around and stop doing it. I mean, like you're here only for a few years, like I'm only, I'm already 35 now, and I've been working my whole life on self-improvement and only in the recent two years have I uh, reversed it. And I noticed that there wasn't any need for me to improve myself. Like, of course, when I will learn things in life, you know, uh, naturally. Like, I don't have to force myself to do all these kind of things. So it's a big step. It probably sounds very small. But if you want to take any advice from me, just stop the self-improvement. It's also stressful for your nervous system. So, all right. Happy healing, guys. Uh, check out my website for blogs and more posts uh, about uh, the three components, uh, what I think are important for healing uh, from chronic fatigue syndrome, ME, or fibromyalgia. So, uh, see you guys. Bye.